Hi everyone, welcome back to Pro Tools music production course here at educator.com. In this lesson, we're going to explore the MIDI. We will be looking at audio MIDI setup in Pro Tools. We will talk about tick based versus sample based instrument tracks. We are going to set up click tracks, write a drum beat in MIDI merge mode. We will talk about editing notes directly on the tracks, talking a lot about a pencil tool. We also talk about MIDI real-time properties and mention certain things about MIDI event lists. Let's first of all uh, talk about setting up a click track and this one we kind of mentioned here and there but I want to set up a click based on some sort of groove that I hear in mind not typing manually the number so as you know that we can do it like right here um, I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna tap on the T letter T okay so 82 that's our tempo today and manually uh, entered right here although I was tapping so that's the kind of a groove I had in mind and on this certain groove first thing that I'd like to talk about sample bass versus tick bass in tracks as we covered earlier on 101 uh, lessons uh, we said audio tracks by default are sample based and instrument MIDI tracks are tick based but can be vice versa this is what it's telling us right here if you go on the screen this is a time based selector and it's ticks and this one is samples but they're both instrument tracks this time by default instrument tracks are tick based but if you go on this little icon here you can change ticks to the samples or when you create a track on Pro Tools with the uh, with the shortcut of command shift N if it's an audio track automatically comes up here as a samples by default and if you wanted to create hold down command and hit down arrow for an instrument track by default these tracks are ticks but you are able to choose samples for instruments and tick based uh, for the audio tracks as well so these are the options so that's one of the examples that I have here and I named my track tick and the other one sample they're both instrument both stereo instrument tracks another thing that we kind of didn't so much do before that I would like to apply on this course exploring MIDI it's something I often uh, used back then I did most of the MIDI operations as far as entering note editing notes directly on the track although most of these classes in the 101 course we always went to the MIDI editor down here with this arrow we did some stuff there or we were bringing the uh, MIDI editor window directly on one of those choices right here and we were doing most of the editings which is for our purposes definitely a good idea because they are uh, larger however we can actually access to the notes right here under this arrow we can choose notes and we can enter edit notes directly here at this point I'm also going to be really focusing on using one specific uh, edit tool which is the pencil tool we can click on it to get it or command 6 will get this one but we have bunch of options to choose right here with the pencil tool if you repeat the action of command x you or command 6 you will automatically get the next one so here we go we got the triangle we got a bunch of different ones here freehand line triangle parabolic and so forth so most of these things that we can apply we're gonna go and choose the freehand at the moment and we're in the pencil tool and I'm just gonna 
put a note here. This is a percussion instrument by Expand, right here. It's, the, it's got talking drums, bring it to the view, talking drums, thunder drums, and uh, four channels basically are all used right here. So this is... Let's go ahead and uh, actually four bars. Let's go ahead and use this one for four bars. Cool. I'm going to go back to the clip view and I'm going to bring this one by holding down option to the sample based instrument track. So they all have the same instrument. It's exactly the same one. They're similar type of length. I just copied pay, apparently just uh, option dragged it so it's exactly the same note same rhythm so and I'd like to bring the of course right here our tempo is 82 this is our uh, session basically at the moment session tempo cool uh, world music sounding gorilla track from the video examples from 101 course it's something like that more more like a soundtrack type of thing from expand pretty cool so the example here as we did before I would like to actually go up this one up uh, two times faster so 82 let's write 164 and here we go what happened something happened Okay, so basically what happened here, if you see my tick-based instrument track, it's kind of got shrink here, and the sample-based one just stayed wherever it is, and it's like looks like it's eight bars now, but tick-based is four bars now, so basically... In other words, what's really happened here when I go from, from 82 to 164, my sample based almost like kind of extended, but it isn't actually what happened. They really stay, it really stay where, they, where it is. Shift Command Z to show this one to you, my tick based instrument track, since it's tied to the bars and beats, went with the double time and it's still four bars what it is my four bars is twice as faster right now and tick bass track tied to the bars and beats so that's why it actually uh, went two times faster so it went with the double time idea but sample bass track stayed where it is although it sped up uh, as an instrument track but the length of the note stays. So this is just another example of if we set up a tick-based and sample-based instrument tracks, that's how they behave. So you need to make sure when you have a bunch of MIDI or instrument tracks using virtual instruments or third-party uh, instruments, great plugins out there today, make sure you're recording everything tick-based unless you have other reasons because tick based operation they're always gonna go with the with the changes okay that's where it is now this was just a short example of the uh, the behavior of a uh, tick based t as opposed to the um, sample based operation so 